on our rooftop deck at the hotel. And it's just, I'm loving Tibet. It's beautiful, speechlessly beautiful. I'm walking the wrong direction apparently in front of the Potala Palace. I'm sure it signifies something. Inside here, inside this chapel, we will see a big statue of the son, and the second floor, we will see him again. Photo, photo, photo. Photo, photo, photo. Photo, photo, chal. Yeah. 
Inside here, inside this chapel, we will see a big statue of Buddha. The second floor, we will see him again. So the temple behind us is being renovated, so they're putting on a new um, top to the roof, so that, that sort of a granite type of flooring, and they have to stomp it down, they have to um, compress it down, so they get a big group of people, and they're singing and dancing as they're compressing it with the compression devices. Okay, so here we are standing outside the uh, summer palace of the present Dalai Lama, and uh, it's pretty, pretty fascinating place, if I do say so myself. That's our final destination for the day. <coughs> and 12,000 feet. Not easy.
Tibetan culture is actually very significantly different um, from Chinese culture, um, and I, I don't know that it's actually going to survive for terribly long. One really interesting thing, though, is even though it is a police state, um, the, and, and things have become modern building-wise and store-wise, the dress doesn't seem to have changed a lot of the traditional people, so that's an interesting way. Is that a bit of a form of a protest or something? So this is Catherine actually entering the gate to Lhasa. So we are in the center of Lhasa, in the Jokar Temple. It's one of uh, the oldest temples because it wasn't actually destroyed with anything.
we've just uh, crested 4,400 meters, and both of our hands and fingers are tingling. But it's absolutely beautiful here. Actually, no colder than English Bay.